Hi you guys, welcome back. Welcome to guess what? Yes, obviously by the title or something, we are spending the night in my newly constructed woodshed down by the creek. Uh, this is our home property. And yeah, that is pretty much the reason why I didn't fill the shed full of wood yet is because I knew that I wanted to come and camp down here and spend the night in it. But I think I've got <laughs> what I need to stay comfortable. So I actually came down already and set up my little bed. I also built a little shelf. of sorts just with some scraps because the uh, pallets have large gaps in them and you know you, uh, I'm losing my stuff all the time every time I put something down it just kind of falls in the slots so that's just temporary for tonight I also alluded to the thought or the idea or the notion or the possibility of having a wood-fired hot tub down here and I have actually been thinking about this for some time. What I could use, how I could make it work. And I came up with an idea for a very, very basic, very basic, rudimentary wood-fired hot tub. Um, so let's go back a few days to the assembly of said hot tub. And I'll tell you all about it. So this is my idea for my little super duper hippie wood-fired hot tub down by the creek for my camp out. And this is just an old tire rim that I found when we were getting the ore car rails at our friend's place and we got the rebar there. I got the rebar because I knew if the tub was just flat on here, it wouldn't create an air gap. So that's why I got the re I thought of the rebar, but some more things need to be done. We need to cut a hole so I can access the fire. And then we thought Steve offered to weld these and create an air gap, gap with the welded rebar rather than have them in there because this is going to interrupt my fire space. So I need a, this is really thick, but I need a hole to be able to, you know, put, put wood in. H hang on, like, why don't we set this up better so you can do this more safely? This is better. I need something kind of, unless I put it over here. I'll put it right there, yeah, put it right there. Put it right there, right by the creek. Be able to fill that up. Okay. 
Did you want to drive it in closer then? I know. We'll just get up, get it up. And obviously, my hot tub needs water, and I need a power source to pump water up from the creek into my tub. Thank you, Blue Eddy, for sponsoring this video and providing me with my new little power station. This is Blue Eddy's AC 180, which is their new, relatively new on the market, mid size, mid range, very compact, very portable, but very powerful little power station. Throughout my stay here, it's not only going to uh, pump my water up into my little hot tub for me, it is going to power some devices for me while I'm down here for the day and night, um, charge some battery tools, it is going to help me cook, and it is going to just generally create a nice ambiance for me, for us, down here for the night. Very excited to have this little unit. Been loving it, I've been using it, trying it out for the last week. It's like a little Timbit box, like it's so cute. It's like a little snack pack. And I have named her Little Betty Blue Eddie. And let me tell you about her. So like I said, it's their, it's their kind of the middle of the road. They have this EB series, so this is a step up from that. Yeah, it's, it's very small, it's very compact. It weighs in just over 35 pounds. You get a lithium iron phosphate battery with 1152 watt hours and a large, large inverter. So 1800 watt inverter, 1800 watts of AC capability output, as well as 2700 watts of a power lifting mode. So don't be fooled by her size. She is got some power. Personally, I find this to be an ideal unit because it is so versatile. You can use it to, you could power some household appliances if you needed to. It can power most tools, charge all your batteries so you can use this on the job site, or you can cart this thing around because it's so portable to difficult locations or it's perfect for camping, which is what we're doing tonight. I've mentioned in the past that Steve and I want to build a little cabin down by this creek here, which is one of the reasons why I kind of threw this wood shed up and this is probably gonna be my little power station down here. It has nine output ports for charging a variety of devices. 12 volt a cigarette lighter port here. It's got a USB-C and then four USB-A ports four wall outlet AC outputs. There's four ways to charge her. She can be charged obviously on grid like AC charging or generator charging and then also solar which I so lovingly went out to the cliff and brought home one of my solar panels from out there to test her out with. So it's 500 watts of capability of solar input charging. I have one panel, had one panel hooked up which is 350 watts. It is also chargeable by a car charger, car adapter. So I've been taking her with me and charging her in the car and it charges surprisingly fast. It can go from zero to 80% charged in 45 minutes with the 1440 watts of AC input. Uh, downloading the app, I already have the app. I've already downloaded it from my previous unit. The cool thing I didn't realize, I had thought you had to be under Wi-Fi for this app to work, but it's just Bluetooth. So I, had, I didn't even know that for my one at the cliff. So now that I know that, that will be great. Really handy, you can turn things off and on from 
from your phone. More handy than you think, I think. I am honestly really, really, really excited to have this unit. You'll be seeing me use it <laughs> a lot. So let's take it over and I gotta get this hot tub thing going because I actually have no idea how it's gonna work. It could be a total flop. Priority though is getting some water into it and getting a fire started, so let's go. Blue Eddy is having a Power Week sale from September 5th up until 18th, where you can save up to $2,500 Canadian and also win some prizes, including a little Blue Eddy refrigerator. The link for that is in the description, so be sure to check it out. I was actually down here yesterday and I cleaned it out because there was so much rust in the bottom that it was like going to be a really, really, really rusty tub. There. My tripod wasn't doing it. It kept falling over. But I remembered I had a clamp down here. Okay, my fire is going pretty good. I'm gonna have some chips. The water I did already do a little test with the temperature. It was like 60 degrees, almost 10 degrees warmer than what it was when I started. It's only been running for a little bit, so I think it'll be hot by the time I wanna go in. Yeah, one of the other things obviously I wanna do is start doing some firewood. So I'm gonna start chopping up, slicing them into rounds and then chopping them. And then I want to work on the fascia. Sixty-eight on the sixty-nine.
Whoa. All right, so it's definitely hot. Um, it's early enough. I don't really want to go in it now. I want to kind of wait until the evening anyway. So I'm probably just going to let the fire die and keep the foam on the top. And if I need to restart it, at least it doesn't really need to warm up too much. But geez, that, that thing's working pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. I should actually probably leave the foam off in our hot tub at the lake the big one um, it can overheat really quickly this at least I, can, I have the creek there I can just put some cold water into it but I'll just let it die down and stew I want to put on that bit of fascia and the slabs that I, I brought them down a day or so ago and they are the slabs from the last thing I milled which was cedar and it was that stuff for the railway ties for the hot tub thing oh, and it was just under 10 feet so I have one this is an inch shy of 10 feet so and I never cut the log, that's just the way that it was. So do I put this up or do I wait? I think I'm going to put it up just for fun. It's kind of a bummer. I don't think I can use it. I mean, I could even that out a little bit better, but still when I... It should be overlapping to accommodate for the side one that I want to put up. But I'm just going to leave it there for now until I get another one, I guess. Time for supper. Now, it's not very, uh, it's not a very camping-like dinner, but I made a butternut squash and black bean stew a few days ago, and I made a lot of it, so I need to eat it. It's really good. So I just put some in a pot. I even brought down a glass of wine, <laughs> a jar of wine. Cheers. One fourteen. Okay. It's getting there. It was 127 about an hour ago. If ever that day comes around If I get my feet on the ground I'd make Bonnie my wife And we'd rob this old town Maybe take all that money Get a boat Sail down, down Where the blue, blue waters flow Yes, this is a place I would go We might get ourselves lost We may never be found If ever that day comes around Perfect. Oh. I mean, we never did need a home. So let's shoot up this town. Let's run through the night and take down that boat. 
about 6 30 and uh, I've been awake for a while just laying here cozy I had a good sleep it was warm I was comfortable Day. 